Moving on to our next story. Now, Finnish food tech startup says it is making a new nutrient-rich protein from thin hair. Helsinki based Solar Food says its new protein can lessen the environmental impact of the world's food system, which accounts for over a third of global greenhouse gas emissions. Here's a report. Could this be the farm of the future? At this pilot plant on the outskirts of Helsinki, Finnish food tech startup Solar Foods is making a protein from thin air. Solene, as they call it, is grown in a fermentation tank from a single microbe. Provide growth conditions for the cell through a technology called gas fermentation. You can compare that to wine making or beer making, where you have a liquid uh, that has sugars typically, for example, from grapes or, or similar. And typically, for example, wine making, you add yeast to the sugars liquid, and this yeast eats sugar for carbon and energy to grow and express some alcohol to the surrounding liquid. We do the same, but our microbe does not eat sugar, but it is hydrogen and carbon dioxide that we bubble in as gases in the fermenter. And that's where the very fundamental point is how to disconnect from agriculture. No agriculture feedstock is used. From land use change in agricultural production to packaging and waste management. Annual food system emissions were estimated to be 18 billion tons of carbon dioxide. About 34% of the global total and according to the United Nations, food demand is expected to increase between 60 and 100% as Earth's population is predicted to rise to over 9.6 billion people by 2050. Solar Foods is making food without these agricultural processes. When the startup's electricity comes from renewable sources, there's almost zero carbon emissions. The pilot plant is currently powered by hydropower. But they're seeking to use a mix of hydro, wind and solar. The startup was founded in 2017 as a spin-off from Finland's National Research Institute. Indeed, the food tech startup says its fermentation process is 20 times more efficient than photosynthesis, which helps grow crops in fields and 200 times more than meat. After the microorganisms have grown and multiplied in water, they are then removed and dried. And this is the result, a new protein called Solene. Like many other protein supplements, it has no strong discernible taste. It's very neutral. So it's kind of a umami. In some ways it is a bit like a yeast extract. Or I would assume that if we would have like a lactic acid bacteria as a powder, so it would be pretty similar. It is yellow in color, so this color comes from beta carotene. So this is of course the color, the same color that is in carrots. So I taste a little bit of carrot. The food tech startup is now seeking novel food approvals in the European Union and the United Kingdom. Construction of its first large-scale factory began in the autumn of 2021. It will be a hundred times larger than this pilot plant and is expected to produce 4 million Solene meals a year when it becomes operational in the first half of 2023. Bureau Report, Vion.